Hello and welcome to Scene Lighting. My name is Daniel Hime, Director, DP and Colorist. And first things first, from the 9th of March to the 11th of March, I'll be holding a workshop in, in Cano for directors, cinematographers, and we'll be having like a workflow session. Maybe I will take um, the entry levels of Canon cameras and actually put them to the pace for those of you who've been introducing yourself into the cinema world. And whereby we'll talk documentary approach, advert approach, your day-to-day -day interviews, and most of the things, your, even in YouTube videos, like the one I'm making, you get how to go about it, how to light it, and how to maximize the full potential of the camera. If you do know anybody that stays in the knot, and if you do know anybody that lives in the knot, please share this video with them from the 9th to the 11th. We'll be there in March for those three days where we'll have hands-on. So the good people at Canon have been kind enough to throw in bonus packages that have been discounted for this workshop, which is a C100 Mark II with a free 4K monitor and also a hard protective case. Also, there are several offerings among the US in my lineup, but you would have to come there in person to discuss with the Canon rep that will be on site to give you access to those discounts, which will not be available to those who will not be attending the workshop. So I highly urge you to, in the best of interest, show up maximize the opportunity cashing on those discounts and move up the ladder in your cinema world because guess what to charge premium you must be able to create premium and to be able to create premium you have to learn how to create premium which is what this is all about giving back and making sure the entire community of the nigerian northern cinematic industry grow up so this will be our humble contribution into your growth and we look forward to you maximizing such opportunities and maximizing all the deals that will be available on the day and taking that on so now onto the real business of the day so we're looking at two scenes where we'll be exploring urban lighting the first one was the scene which we actually lit on the pool which is a two shot and the challenges with this shot was because the pool had the decking so it eliminated all options of creating moonlight without a rigging that would have taken so long. So what we did was we had the warm sauce, which was a tungsten 1K that had CTS on it, and we cross it with, um, on the other side from the Italian side, which was frontal kill, we had the 2.5 HMI that was actually diffused through a full grid that actually filled in the active phase. Then we actually threw two 1.2K HMIs into the pool that created the shimmering reflection. And that's how we had captured the dialogue of that scene. We went for the close-up to get the, all the other close-up to make up the entire cup, but this was the primary setup that actually lit the scene for the entire piece. For the second scene, we had a dining scene whereby we had sodium vapor that was coming from the right side of the talent. Sodium vapor is a gel which you put in front of a warm source that could convert the temperature to make it look like those electric lamps that you have in um, at night when you're passing Ted Milland or any of those um, highways that have this warm street light source. So we gel the right side of the frame with sodium vapor and we maintain the CT as I was coming through a 1K which lowered the color temperature of the light and we fill the front with that same 2.5 HMI but this time we threw a full, double full grade diffusion so it's not saucy and it filled into the shadows quite nicely and why both sides were creating this hard source I could see by the leaves edging the wall and this way we're able to create a surreal urban environment whereby the conversation happened for the wide shot then we moved in for the close-ups to actually complete the coverage of the entire scene so um, I hope some of these tips and tricks, you could take them and put them in your short movie or something you're doing. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll look forward to chatting with you on other possibilities on what you would like to explore. So utilizing cross lighting key and using our the available light source we had, which was at the time HMI 2.5K for fill. This may be something else for you, depending on what's in your light package. We were able to modify the ambient environment to suit this urban sodium vapor vibe. And mind you, every time I say sodium vapor, it refers, it references those warm street lights you have across the road in the normal setting you would know. So this was us mimicking reality of what will happen in the street. There's sometimes that's what you go for, there's sometimes where you create a surreal world. But both times it depends on the version of the script you're doing, the scene, the motion of the scene, or what the director's vision is, all this combination makes up. Um, your judgment call for what goes where. So this is not like a standing formula for, oh, okay, whenever it's night, this is how I should go about it. But this is all dependent on the story and all these choices are story driven. So going forward in your own project, I would like you to also employ these choices and see how they could story assist you. And if this video has been helpful to you in any way, please leave it a thumbs up and hit the like button. 
and to see more of this please follow and subscribe and i look forward to your feedbacks on what you think or what you think we should have explored more that we didn't explore in this video i look forward to learning from you as opposed to getting challenged by you to grow up more so um until next time improvise adapt and overcome